Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. I have not been filming much. I did get a new puppy if you didn't know or you're new here, so that's why I haven't been uploading as much. Trying to get our schedules together. Uh, Ian is home today, who is my husband if you don't know, so he is with the puppy right now, and I'm sure he will bring him up in a little bit. You guys can see him. But today I wanted to film because Ian's home, but also this showed up on my door last night, which is the new Jaclyn Cosmetics collection. This is the Live Pout Loud collection. So it does have basically just lip products. We have some new shades of her lip liners and her liquid lipsticks. Also a sharpener and then an easy removal kind of oil-based product. We will be trying all of these out. I'm going to try them all on. These are very bright. I will show you swatches and close-ups and then of course we'll see how they apply on the lips. I didn't know if you guys wanted to see a dedicated first impressions to this just because it's not really a new product, just new shades in some of her existing formulas, but you guys said yes, so we're going to go ahead and do that today. So I'll link all the products down below, the makeup I'm wearing, and then also all the information about this launch. If you're new here, I hope you subscribe. If you enjoy these videos, please give this a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. And let's go ahead and jump into my first impressions and try on of the new Jaclyn Cosmetics collection. So as I said, this just showed up late last night. I asked you guys if you wanted a review. I'm loving the PR package for this. It wasn't excessive. It's very sleek and it has just enough room for the products. Loving the promo shots on here of Jacqueline. Even my husband, when I pulled this out, he goes, that looks pretty cool. And you know, in man terms, it's like, for a man to comment on this, it's kind of strange. So I was like, you know, I agree with you. It just looks really nice. I'll throw some close-ups on the screen, but this is all about bold and bright lip colors. So here is the inside of the PR box. I love the pink background. You do have seven new liquid lipstick shades with corresponding new lip liners. So they go together, as you can see here. I like how this was set up. You also have a liquid lipstick remover, which I haven't tried and I'm curious to try and then also a sharpener that you can buy separately as well but I thought this package was really nice just sleek minimal but to the point and I like how everything was laid out so I knew which lip liner went with which liquid lipstick starting off with the liquid lipsticks these retail for $20 each they come in seven new shades all bright and bold they are a matte formula they do have the cake batter scent they do smell really nice I haven't tried them on the lips yet but I'm gonna be looking for if they're streaky patchy, sticky, things like that. I swatched them on my hand separately last night and took photos, so I'll be throwing those up uh, individually as I apply each one of these. But the packaging, is just the typical Jaclyn packaging, and I have to say the promo photos looked really pretty. I'm interested to see how all these colors look on me, just because these are not colors I would typically go for. But sometimes when I try, you know, crazy colors like this, I really end up loving them, so I'm curious to see how they translate on the lips. Along with the liquid lipsticks, we do have the Pout spoken lip liners. Now these do correspond with the liquid lipsticks, so seven new shades of this. These retail for $18 each. They have a soft matte finish, and they all are in bold and bright colors. So these actually do have the same name as the liquid lipsticks, which I actually like because it takes the guesswork out. I've tried her lip liners in the past, and they have been a standout for me, so I anticipate really enjoying these because I have enjoyed this formula in the past. I want to see how they do perform with the matching liquid lipstick, so we will see that and swatches when we get into the demo. A brand new product in this collection is the Pout Off Nourishing Lipstick Remover. This retails for $14. It is a clear balm. It doesn't have a scent. It feels like a gel oil, and we all know that liquid lipsticks can really dry down. They can stain, be hard to remove, so I'm interested to try this out to see how well it removes the liquid lipsticks and also if it nourishes my lips. Nourishes? Nourishes my lips as we keep, you know, going back and forth through all of these really, you know, matte products. So this I will be trying out when we get into the demo. And then lastly, she did release the On Point Lip Shop sharpener. This is just a lip pencil sharpener. If you want to get a precise pointed tip on your lip liner, this retails for $9. Of course, you can use 
really any, you know, lip pencil sharpener you have, but this is an option if you want to pick this up. If you're interested in picking up any products from this collection, it launches on the Jaclyn Cosmetics website February 3rd at 10 a.m. I believe that is Pacific Standard Time. I will have the information down below. And then it also is coming to Ulta and Morphe. I'll put all the information down below because it does have different dates for online and in-store. So now that we've gone over everything, let's go ahead and start applying these liquid lipsticks and these lip liners. I feel like I have to get in the zone because I wanna make sure that I apply them as evenly as possible. And let's say a prayer for my lips. So I've got you zoomed in and I wanted to say quickly that I have a little bit of this Undone Beauty Lip Stain Duo. I got this from Ulta and I have it in the shade Real Pink. I just put a little bit of this on my lips. It's just a lip stain marker. I always just apply a lip stain. It's kind of just like a habit for me. I like the way it looks because my lips are just really blanked out. And then I also have a little bit of the Too Faced Pillow Balm and Watermelon. These shades are so pigmented and bright that the lip stain really isn't going to affect anything, but I just wanted to note that for those of you that were wondering. I want to start off with this duo, which is called Yes Bitch, okay? So this is a bubblegum hot pink. So let's start off with the lip liner, and we'll see how this applies. Okay, so upon first swipe, it's very pigmented, creamy. Again, I really enjoyed this formula from her. I love this neon color, but I have to say, I don't know the last time I've worn a color like this, so it's gonna be interesting to see. I also don't have the most even lips, so this is gonna be a struggle for me trying to you know, make this look even, just because my lips are not the most even, but stay with me here. Let's see if I can get this as even as possible. Okay, so here's the lip liner in Yes Bitch. I had no problems applying it. It is very, very pigmented. It's not too creamy. It's not really dry and tugging. So I really like that formula. This is where I get a little nervous. So let's go in with the liquid lipstick. As I said, it does have that cake batter smell to it. It does smell really nice. And look how bright that is. Woo! Okay, so now that I've applied that, I wanna go in with that lip liner and just redefine. Okay, so here is the first duo called Yes Bitch. This is personally not a shade I would probably wear just because I feel like it's a little bit too neon for me. I feel a little bit of a stick, which I do remember from her formula but I didn't notice any patching on this one. It seemed to be uh, coating evenly. I didn't struggle with it. It's definitely that like neon blue based bubblegum pink. You guys have to let me know down below what you think of these colors, but I don't foresee this being a color that I personally would wear much, but I do think it's fun. It's just like, wow, it's really in your face. So to remove this, I'm gonna go ahead and try out the Pout Off Nourishing Lipstick Remover. I'm assuming you just rub this on your lips. Uh, I might try first just to use my fingertip just to not get it so messy, but the problem is it does stain. So this is gonna be tricky here because you can see on my finger. So I just applied a little bit of it. Okay, it does seem to take it off pretty nicely. I do feel like if at the end of the day you just wanna remove, you can just kinda of swipe this all over. I really don't wanna mess up my makeup too badly. So I'm just sort of applying it and wiping away. It does seem to be working really nicely. Another product that I've used in the past is the Beauty Bakery. They have these little like oil cotton pads, but I would say it's doing its job. So I'll continue to use it in between each shade, but I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of this, touch up, and then we'll go into the next shade. So next I wanna go in with In Control. This is a bold red coral. So let's go ahead and line the lips. So here is the lip liner in, in Control. I didn't have any issues with it. I feel like I really need to clean up with concealer, but I don't know how feasible that is each time. So I'm trying to do my best to make this look as even as possible. Let's go in now with the liquid lipstick.
Okay, so here is the second lip combo, which is called In Control. I feel like this would be a pretty color for Valentine's Day. It definitely is bold, but not quite as bold as that first shade. I feel like this is a little bit more wearable. I didn't notice any streaking or patching. I felt like this one applied very evenly. I'm more concerned with the deep kind of like purple berry shades, just because the dark vampy shades that she released previously were the ones that I had issues with trying to get even. This one applied beautifully, so I have no complaints. I feel like a lot of people are gonna really like this color. Okay, so next up we're gonna go in with No Rules, and this is described as a bold orange red. I feel like this will be a beautiful color for summer, so I'm really excited to try this one. So this is the lip liner in No Rules. Again, I didn't have any issues with it. I'm gonna go in now with the matching liquid lipstick. So this color in particular feels a little bit more thin and sheer. So I'm doing a second layer, which I haven't had to do with the other two. It could be I just didn't apply enough, but let's see how this layers. Maybe you just need to use a little bit more of this shade. I'm gonna go back in with the lip liner and I'm going to just enhance. So here is the shade No Rules. It's definitely neon. I felt like this one you did have to build up a little bit more, maybe two or three layers. Overall, it layered nicely. I'm not getting any gunking or anything like that. I know a lot of people love this type of shade with a bronzy makeup look. I feel like I'm still really liking the second shade, but overall, I feel like this applied nicely. You just may need to do two or three layers of this shade. All right, let's move on to the next shade. This shade is called Easy Peasy, and this is described as a bold Old, dusty rose. My lips are a little, <laughs> little beat up at this point. Hello. Um, do you think you could bring me a Nana up? I got one in my pants if you want it. Oh my god. Not real big, but it gets the job done, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay, so this is the lip liner in Easy Peasy, and now I'm gonna go in with the lipstick. So here's the shade Easy Peasy. I did mess up my lip line over here, so I do feel like I have just a little line right here from applying too much, trying to fix it, but we're gonna ignore that. This one, I did one coat and I felt like it was sufficient. I do feel like this one has zero stick to it, which I actually like. I don't know if it's because my lip balm has worn off and maybe that's why I was feeling a stick. I don't like the feeling of stickiness on my liquid lipsticks. So again, I don't know if it's just this shade in particular or if it's just the fact that I did apply a lip balm. Now, because I don't have a lip balm on right now and I'm not feeling the stick, this is definitely dry. It does feel dry. As we're moving into more shades, I do feel like my lips are feeling a little bit more parched, if you will but I'm not noticing any weird lines or gunking, so I'm actually pleasantly surprised with this shade and the second shade that we use. Those would be my two favorites. I still think I like the second shade the most, but overall, I didn't have any issues with this shade at all, so this is the combination easy peasy. Okay, next up, I'm gonna go in with the shade Coming In Hot. This is described as a bold blue red. Okay, so that's the lip liner, and let's go in with the matching lipstick. And then I'm just gonna go around the edges. I like this color. It's bold, but I feel like this is a lot more wearable for me personally than the like orangey red. It was a little bit too much, whereas this one I feel like I just like it better, I don't know why. So here is the shade Coming In Hot. I didn't have any issues with this one either. Again, it doesn't feel sticky, so I am thinking maybe putting a lip balm underneath is causing a little bit of that stick. If you're familiar with her formula, let me know down below if you notice a stick at all. I didn't have any issues with this one either. One coat and I was good to go, so let's move on to the next shade. Okay, so we're almost done here. I'm going in next with the shade I'm In It. This is described as a bold neon rose. All right, so now I'm going in with the matching 
lipstick. I'm gonna need to like do a hydrating mask because all around my mouth is dry from wiping and reapplying the foundation. And then I'm just going around the edges again. Okay, so this is the shade I'm in it. I actually really like this one. This is a little bit more subdued again than that first neon pink. A little bit more wearable. It's still very bold, but I really like this shade. It's not something that I really own in my collection or I wear often, but I think this is a good option for those of you that want something bright, but you really don't want that like neon, neon look. Didn't have any issues. Again, one layer, everything seemed to blend beautifully. So let's go on to the last shade, which is the one I'm most nervous for. Okay, so we're on to the last shade. This is called You Guys, which made me laugh just because I feel like Jacqueline's always like, you guys, this is so buttery. This is so pigmented like actually it made me cackle because that's such a Jaclyn name so this is the deepest one it's described as a bold violet plum I'm most nervous about this one the liquid lipstick in particular just because her last collection I felt like it was really hard to get an even application and that can happen with deeper shades so let's go ahead and start applying All right, so this is the lip liner, and now let's go in with the lipstick. Okay, so I messed this up, so I'm gonna fix it. Whoopsie. Okay, so here's the last shade called You Guys. I love a vampy lip. This is definitely the most uh, bold and vampy of the bunch, but I personally prefer that. I just think it's so pretty. This I didn't have any streaking with, which is really surprising. A lot of times these shades that are deeper, purple, maroon, or just really deep, I tend to have to layer and then they can get a little bit patchy, but I'm not noticing anything at all like I did one layer and it was good to go so I'm actually wondering if they tweaked the formula a little bit from their last launch or maybe it's just the shades in her last launch which had more of like a purple maroon undertone maybe it's something about that but this performed beautifully I'm actually overall pretty impressed with pretty much everything I tried so I'm going to go ahead and jump in now to my final thoughts can you look pretty for the cameras? Here's the little baby for all of you guys that wanted to see him. He's like, why are we in this filming room? Okay. He can't get any cuter. Do you want to say hi? He's not thrilled. Okay guys, so I quickly wanna go over my thoughts on this new Jaclyn Cosmetics collection. Starting off with the lipstick remover, this works beautifully. It just takes the lipstick off very easily. Again, you could use an oil, but this is very convenient because you just swipe it on and then you can use any sort of like cotton pad or baby wipe or whatever you have on hand and it wipes off just very easily, not as abrasive as scrubbing. So I do think this is a useful product. Again, you can use oil so you don't need to purchase this but if you're someone that wears a lot of liquid lipsticks or deeper colors and you feel like your lips take a beating when you're trying to remove it I do think this works beautifully the sharpener I didn't try today I mean I have a million lip pencil sharpeners so I really don't think you need it unless you don't have one or you really just want to support Jaclyn overall now moving on to the actual lip liners and liquid lipsticks I have to say overall I was pleasantly surprised I already knew that I was going to enjoy the lip liners. I feel like they're very comparable to maybe like the Pat McGrath lip liners. They're not too creamy, but they're also not tugging or super dry like a MAC. So I think that this is a great formula. If there's any colors that you like, I would definitely recommend checking out the lip liners. I also am quite impressed with the liquid lipsticks, which I'm surprised by because in the past, I really wasn't wowed by them. I thought that they were kind of sticky the nude ones that I tried way back when and then when I tried the ones from her last collection all the vampy colors I love the shades but they were a little streaky I noticed that I had to sort of build up and then when I would rub my lips together it would sort of patch on one side and then gunk on the other I did not notice that at all with any of these which shocks me especially the one that I'm wearing right now I did have to build up that neon orange red but other than that I did about one coat of every other color I showed you guys 
just how I applied it on camera and I really didn't struggle with any patchiness or anything like that. So I'm wondering if they did just improve this formula or if the colors they came out with in that vampy range were just really hard to formulate. I really don't know, but overall I have really no complaints about this other than you gotta love the colors. They're very bold. I've been wearing this for about 30 minutes. I'm not getting a white line or any gunking, nothing weird. Definitely is dried down. It's not transferring but it does feel a little dry, which again is typical for this formula. So overall, I didn't have any issues. You just have to love the colors. You have to want that neon or the really bright shades. So overall, I liked everything. You guys will have to let me know down below what you think. If you like her formula or what you've noticed about her liquid lipstick formula in the past. So I will leave all the information down below in my description box. Let me know down below which shades did you like? Did you like any of them? Did you love them all? Was there any that you were like, no, I don't like that or you thought applied weird? I always love to chat in the comments. Uh, thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one.